Well, let's head out to California because that's where all the weather is now. We're all sunny and quiet and California is getting all the rain. You see it's opposite this race. You have a ton of rain moving right into Los Angeles right now. And of course, even a little bit of rain causes California problems. It's not used to a ton of it. So they have tons of it coming in that this atmospheric river started up again and it's keeping on, keeping on. And then in fact, they have a, a li another little, this is the core of the system here is gonna come ashore here tomorrow. So we have more rain tomorrow. And then all of this is gonna move across the country. It's gonna combine with a little upper level load. It's gonna pull some cold air down and then eventually it will all combine and into our cold front here for Friday. And this is such a big deal out here that hurricane hunters are actually flying out here right now. I found the, the mission here and they were flying out sampling the atmosphere. It's not tropical in nature, but the hurricane hunters can help with this kind of scenario too. And they've been doing that since 2016. So they go west in the winter, come east for our hurricanes in the summer. All right, temperatures are in the 50s and 60s right now, and lows temperatures tonight will be about that. Low to mid 50s for the Treasure Coast, near 60 for the Palm Beaches. We see Wellington uh, inland there, some upper 50s. High temps tomorrow, gorgeous. Mid to upper 70s, and I think uh, some cloud cover will move in, a little upper level disturbance, and a, and a weak front will move on through. That may squeeze out a few high clouds as this pushes south, but really no rainmaker with that. Then high pressure goes right on top of us for complete sunshine, light winds Wednesday, a beautiful day for us. Actually, humidity lowers some more too after that front. And then the next front right here coming on in Thursday, a little bit of that return flow out of the south, so a tish warmer. And then this quickly moves on in Friday. It dries up a lot, but we might see a couple of showers from the front moving on through before the cold air moves on in. And this won't be Christmas type cold, but it will be second to Christmas. We haven't had something uh, as this uh, this cold since Christmas, so we do drop into the 60s, but remember we were even 50s and 40s for highs over Christmas, and we saw a lot of clouds. This time we're going to see a lot of sunshine. Wind is northwest. We'll see sunshine as those high temperatures drop there, about 10 degrees below average for at least a day. There's our little bit blip there for the uh, rainfall, and the muggy meter stays in the comfy category and drops there by the end of the week. Boating beach forecast looks great until the weekend. That's when the wind picks up with the front. So 70s for highs right as the South Florida fair starts. Great fair weather regardless. Just wear that jacket or sweatshirt Saturday and Sunday. Breezy, a little chilly, especially in the mornings. We see 40s for a couple of mornings.